Okay, family is good. Come on, iPad. Now we go to work. Such a beautiful day. Okay, first thing this morning, I am headed into the office. Two years ago, this video would have started off with me in my house, but there's like this weird fine line of me not wanting to show inside my house much, because I have two kids now. I didn't have two kids when I would have first done a day in the life. Now I have two kids, and I probably would have been going like right to site to go run something, but I've been doing less and less of that and more of the business side of shit. But don't get me wrong, I still am not in the office a lot. I still get to go out to site, or driving around, like my truck is basically my office half the time, I'd say 50-50, so yeah. It was our year end in September, so me and Brad, Brad and I, are going to go over some financials. Basically what I'm doing right now is comparing 2021 and 2022 to 2022 and 2023 season. So I'm comparing the last two years and looking at how much more was payroll, how much more was fuel or less, how much more revenue, what was our gross profit, what was our net profit, where did we spend on travel and expenses, and then setting budgetary items for those things, which is something that we've never done, which is surprising to a lot of people. We'd be like, what, you've never, it's like, no, we just like spend willy nilly. And I would never know how much we can spend. But that's what we're gonna solve this morning. All right, we're here. Trucks are running. Loader is far over there running. Shaw. Beautiful. It's good to see. Trucks warming up. It's getting cold season. Okay, I wanna talk about something that I deal with, something that I know a lot of other people deal with, and whenever BetterHelp reached out to me, which is the sponsor of today's video, I knew that I wanted to partner with them and talk to you guys about it. Every year, pretty much around this time, the construction industry is like this mad push. And I find that this time of year, I become burnt out. And in the past, I just haven't known how to deal with this. So this is where BetterHelp actually comes in. You may have heard of them. They connect you with licensed therapists. Now, obviously, starting therapy might have sort of a stigma or it might seem kind of daunting. But over 4 million people have actually used BetterHelp to start living a healthier and happier lifestyle. But the nice thing about BetterHelp is it lets you have therapy your way. It can be a phone call, it can be a text message, it can be a video call, whatever suits your needs and whatever you feel most comfortable with. And the really cool part is if your therapist isn't a good fit for you, it's totally cool. Switch for free. There's no insurance mess, no network hassles. Basically, BetterHelp is all about what works for you and making it easy to go and seek help. So if you've been thinking or you're curious about reaching out for help, I know that it definitely has helped me in the past. Click the link down below, save 10% off. It's a great time to start. I'm telling you, it just takes a weight off your shoulders. We can get back into the video now. Boardroom, this is where we're gonna have our financials meeting. Look at it. Back in the day, that was the iron. You got truck, backhoe, Track loader, two dozers, and a truck. Uh, it's probably the 80s or the 70s. There's Grandpa in the 60s, I believe, with a Case 450 track loader. And there's Dad, Grandpa, with the D3B cat. Then there's me and Dad. Some shots from Con Expo. The best damn show, baby. Con Expo podcast. Did you know I do a podcast? <laughs> okay, 45 out of the uh, meeting with Brad. Now I have a 9.30 scheduled with lawyer, talk about some lawyer stuff, actually with Wooby. Me and Wooby are gonna be start doing content for construction companies, which is super cool. Um, we've always been asked to do it in the past and I just kind of was like, why are we not doing this? That's what we're doing. Another meeting at 9.30. Oh. Okay, just before meeting at 9.30, my wife is coming here to the shop. Check out that. Timberland Pro sent us that little banner. She got a V-Hall call and we got to put floor mats in us. And if you're a man and your wife tells you she needs you to do something, you do it. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I'm pretty good at basketball. There she is. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're good. What's up? What's going on today? Can you fill us in? What's up now? What are we doing now? 
Fuck if I know. Oh, like, why are you gonna act so cool on camera? He's normally not like. Mm, mm, mm. I also normally have coffee. Yeah, you're your fucking plug, dude. Cause tell the world, Booby, did you wake up fucking late today? Yeah, we're in it. What time did you get into work? Not that long. And what time is it? It's 9:30. <laughs> Fuck. Meetings to meetings to meetings. Then we'll go to the site. Roll around in the afternoon, baby. First clip up close, HD, how do I look? The good. lighting's shit. Yeah, thank you. I know I look good. I don't know if I need you to tell me. Yeah, no, thanks for taking some time today. I appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. Well, um, yeah, I don't know if they give you a idea of what the price was. Yeah, like what is the cost to um, doing like that? Yeah, so we do our branding projects for is, is the is the price we do for it. Um, Oh, maybe I'm thinking something different then. Here at the site right now, stopping in, seeing how everything's looking. After my big baconator. I just like chatting with the guys, seeing how everything's going, keeping everybody, maybe get a few laughs into everybody. But Brad, who is coming down over there, he knows more of the day-to-day -day operations. Like he would be like, oh, what are we doing for trucks for the next day? It looks good. Break harder. Break harder. That's what I do. Okay, we are in my office, my second office. Yeah, so it's four o'clock. Um, it is not home time by no means, trust me. I promised myself that I would do a very authentic day and I'm not about to be one of those guys that's like, I work 85 hours a motherfucking day. Uh, by all means, I put in the fucking time. Let me tell you what. Like, you know, the video clip from last night. It was 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night and I was going over financial reports. Yeah, that's life of a business owner. This is very true and authentic. I have an hour right now before my kids get picked up from daycare, which means nobody's at my house, which means I can crank the tunes and work out. And it goes really well with this video because you need to take care of yourself, especially in business. Last night, having a bit of a rough night. Today, having a better day, but still need to work out for my mind and my body. Walk Okay, family's home, workout's done. Uh, if you'll notice in the time lapse, everything went completely black because the circuit blew and because I'm a fat ass and the running of it overheated it because I was going too quick for it, baby. Day's not over yet, time to go in, get some food, uh, kids, bath time, then we do some more work and we wrap up the day. All right, finishing off the day with the next day. Here we are. Loading out, nice close to home job site, overlooking cart, hometown. And again, today, if I could show a day in the life, today would be more on-site stuff. Yesterday was jam-packed full of meetings. The only thing today I have that's in office is a podcast. So I'll be out at site and then running the 336. Later on, loading up some sand. But uh, yeah, that was, I chose one day to show you guys exactly what was going on. So thank you for joining along on the journey. Uh, if you'd like this, let me know, cause I would love to do more. Um, it's nice, kind of different style of video for you guys. But thanks for tuning in and we shall catch you on the next one. Take care. Is this Service Canada? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I, you guys, I guess my SIN, my, my SIN number, it got stolen. And I'm really scared. Oh, that guy's fucking, I bet you they're so good at telling me. Like, they're, I, they're probably so good at telling when they're like, this guy's gonna fuck with me. But of course, I didn't forget about you guys, the True Patriots channel that watched the entire video to the end, which is right now. And if you are one of those True Patriots, I want you guys to comment down below, a day in the life. Why are you commenting down below a day in the life? Well, you just saw a day in the life of Taylor White, Ken White Construction. So if you guys watch the entire video to the very end, comment down below, day in the life. I appreciate you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. As always, take care of yourselves.